Hi and welcome. I'm doing here a demo that shows you how to place your uh, two-dimensional image into my mock-up that I've created. And it's two closed pegs and it's a nice uh, rough um, burlap string here. So what I've got here is a file, Photoshop file, with three layers. Right now I have the middle layer turned off because I'll demonstrate that in a second. But you've got a top layer here with a mask and you've got a second layer here a full which is the full image so if I turn off that bottom layer you'll see that all I have left is the tips of the closed pegs against a, a transparent background the reason um, that I did that will come clear in a second so if I turn off the top layer you can see that nothing changes it's because it's only revealing the bottom layer which is a whole um, is the whole mock-up image so I'll put that uh, top layer back on and as you can see you can't tell what happened because these tips are obviously duplicates of the bottom of these closed pegs. So the reason I have that uh, will become really obvious in a second. So um, what I've got here in the middle is an, a layer that I've got turned off. So I'm going to turn that layer on and you're going to see a graphic guide here and it uh, shows you um, what to do a uh, brief little point form so you're always going to put in your image under that red line you're never gonna go above that and I will show you why when I place my image so once I have my image ready so I've got something open already and I'm gonna just go select all I've got a JPEG open, which is um, a card I designed a, lot, a while back. So I'm going to go select off, edit, copy, and then I go back over to my Photoshop file, and I'm going to make sure I'm on the middle here. You actually could also be on the bottom layer, which would probably make it easier, because then it's always going to place your next pasted image above that, what you have highlighted. So I'm going to go up here, because I can't use the keyboard when I'm holding this, so I'm going to go paste. And it's telling me this warning, which you may not see, just depends on uh, your images. And my image happens to be in a different color uh, profile than my Photoshop image uh, file here. So I'm just going to say OK, because I don't care if the color is slightly long for our demonstration. And I'm just going to make this card small now because it's actually a bigger file than um, the uh, Photoshop. So I'm going to be making that smaller. I'm going to keep the ratio proper so that it's the proper scale. And as you can see now, why you would not want to bring your image above that red line. Because then it's going to reveal the two layers of the clothes peg and it's not going to look right because you want to make this look like it is being held by these closed pegs so you want to keep it below that red line they can be anywhere below that red line um, where the closed pegs are and your item might be square it might be you know rectangular it might be vertical horizontal as long as it's looking like it's being held by these closed pegs so I'm gonna accept that um, uh, size and everything and just say okay I'm done with that so here you've got it now, as I showed you before, this layer, you're going to want to hide this. And the reason being is you're not going to want to have these graphic uh, text and boxes and guides showing in your final image. So I'm going to hide that middle layer, and there you go. Now it looks like your card is being held by the uh, clothes pegs. So what you can do, if you want to be creative, you could free, tan free transform up here under edit and now it's going to give me a bounding box again and I can curve it a little bit um, I could hang it just by the one if I wanted to as long as it's below you can see it when it starts going up too high so you might want to do something creative like that like it's falling uh, and then in that case you'd want to make it a bit smaller or you could just be you know real traditional and have it all like perfect and lined up perfectly and even. So once I'm done with whatever I'm doing, then I just click my check mark to accept it. I'm not sure with all Photoshop programs if you still have to do that. I think it a lot of it depends on what you're doing.
and there you go. So basically what you would want to do now, if you want to put this image up on a, a website, or you want to even use this to display uh, a message and use that as a graphic and have that printed out on uh, brochures or on a, a website for information where you're sending guests or people, and uh, use a fancy way of um, writing a message, you could actually uh, make a make a blank piece of paper in here, or a gray piece of paper, or a textured flat piece of paper looking thing, and you could write your message across it. And uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go save as, and then I would obviously choose JPEG. And um, wherever you want to save it on your computer, I'm not going to bother saving this, but you would pick a folder from obviously uh, your computer anywhere, right? You go in and pick a folder or even just put it on your desktop until you're uh, sure where you want to place it. So we'll cancel that out. And that's basically how you use that. And thank you for watching.